All right, guys, I just want to make a quick video going over the confusion when you roll a spread forward. So when you roll a credit spread forward because you're either too close to your expiration price or you're in the negative or you're too close to your expiration date and you don't feel comfortable, you want to always try to roll it forward for a credit, right? So let's go to total return. You want to always try to roll it forward for a credit. But sometimes when you roll it forward for a credit, it looks it looks deceiving. So I rolled this I rolled this spread forward from expiring today and in the negative a couple maybe 4 or 500. dollars I rolled it forward 2 weeks. I just said that in my last video and now it says that I'm up $440. If I close this thing out right now, I will not be up $440. I would actually take probably a $250 loss. So what you want to do is the total return in today's return is what you would pay. It So this would be right. It is right in a sense. If you just open the spread by itself, right? So if you just open the spread from zero dollars and you collected three fifty six, um, three fifty six a contract, and you had five contracts, yes, you would be up three hundred and fifty five dollars right now. But because I rolled a spread forward, that that first spread that I closed out cost me money to close it out. So there's a difference. So the difference between closing that spread out and opening this spread was $1,090. That, that's what I was credited. So to get your break-even price, all you have to do is take, when you go down to your history, see how it says four option order right here? You take this, you take your total credit, 1090 you divide that by how many contracts you have. So 1,090 divided by five contracts comes out to 218, $218 a contract or $2.18 a contract. So if you go back, so remember that number, 218. Right now this contract's worth 265. So I'm technically not, I technically won't break even on this trade until the amount of this contract gets down to 218. So when it gets down to 218, then I'm break even. Anything below 218 um, is profit. So 218 to zero, if this goes to zero, then I collect $218 or $2.18 a contract times five gives you the 1,090. So that's how this works. I just want to clear this up because there's really not a lot of information with Robinhood and how they how they make this look because it is deceiving. Like I said, the plus 430 is if you didn't roll this from a previous spread. If you just open the spread by itself, you would be up $430 right now. If you received a 356 times 5 contracts. But since there was a difference, like I said, we collected $1,090. So $2.18, when this hits $2.18, you're, you're just break even. Anything below $2.18 is profit. So if you want to see what you would lose as of right now to get your $5,000 collateral, you subtract the $2.70. Let's just say this is at $2.70. $2.70 minus $2.18 is 52 so 52 cents times 5 52 times 5 is 250 260 so right now it would cost you 260 dollars to exit this trade completely and get your five thousand dollar and get my five thousand dollar collateral released it would i would be i would lose 260 dollars right now i would not gain $405. So I just wanted to clear that up for you guys. That's how you do it. You just take your credit, 
divided by how many contracts you have and that's your break even anything below that's profit all right guys